Well, this is a little bit different from what we are used to seeing. Hi guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to my channel. Yeah, I don't do a lot of speaker reviews, although I do have a keen ear towards good set of speakers. But this Logitech Z407 set caught my attention right away, more so since not a lot of people have checked them out, so I've decided to dive in myself. So getting right into it, this is a pretty standard 2.1 stereo setup with two satellites and one subwoofer nothing too extreme. The design is also rather minimalistic, which is additionally emphasized with this pretty ordinary dark gray color that dominates the whole setup. The build quality is decent, they do use plastic only construction except on the subwoofer, which is probably from something like MDF, but everything feels really sturdy and well built. The only thing that got my OCD all fired up is the fact that the logo is rotated for 90 degrees when the speakers are vertically positioned, which I think will probably be the most common configuration, plus you only get it on one speaker. The satellites are actually quite big, with the full range 2.5 inch driver on the top, and you get to choose how you'll orientate them, because this little stand can be put in two different slots, so you can either have them positioned vertically or horizontally. The subwoofer is quite of a decent size, you could probably fit four of these satellites into it, while it also has a couple of cushion feet to raise it up a bit since the 5 and a quarter inch woofer driver is on the bottom. But all of that doesn't matter, the only thing that matters is this little thing. Wanna know what it is? Well, to be completely honest with you, this cute little hockey puck is the main reason why the Z407 caught my eye to begin with. As you can see, there's no plugs or wires on it, only these two AAA battery slots beneath this cover, both of which you will get in the bundle, meaning that this thing is fully wireless, up to 20 meters to be exact, and it can work for up to 12 months without changing its battery. So, what this lets you do is, of course, control the volume in a DJ-like fashion. But most importantly, it lets you connect any Bluetooth-capable device onto it, so you can transmit audio over the speakers. It also lets you control the songs, meaning you can play, pause, keep or go back, while of course being able to adjust volume and bass levels too. The only thing it's missing is an integrated microphone. It would be really cool if you could answer the phone with this, that would be quite something different. Of course, you do have an option to use a plain 3.5mm line-in jack, while the stereo satellites themselves connect via your usual RCA connectors for left and right channels. Interestingly enough, the subwoofer also has a micro USB port on the back, and the reason why is that is because the Z407 also carries its own deck inside, which is an awesome alternative if you don't have a sound card or you already have something else connected to the audio 3.5mm line out on your device. You just plug it in and it will be recognized as another audio device and that's pretty much it. Again, too bad they didn't implement a microphone jack in this case, since they went this route of having an integrated DAC. One note though, you won't get the micro USB cable in the bundle, which is a bit... Unfortunately, they didn't use this opportunity to implement additional software control for it over that said USB connection, for example through their Logitech Option software utility, but that can always be added down the line. With having three different types of connections, you can basically have three different devices connected to it and just jump between the sources, and you can do that via these buttons on the bottom, one tap and it switches over. The right one is for switching between the USB and 3.5mm port, while the left one is for Bluetooth and its pairing process. For differentiating the outputs, you have a small LED on the wireless dial itself, which lights up in different colors depending on the source, Purple is for 3.5mm, white is for USB, and the blue light is, well, for Bluetooth. We also have Bluetooth chimes for when you're doing the pairing process and connecting. As for the wireless dial, it pairs automatically with the speakers, and once you get a steady blue light, it's connected. You can also reset all the settings by holding down both buttons for at least 8 seconds. The power supply is integrated into the subwoofer, but thankfully enough there's no noticeable weird hisses or hums because of it, as it can often be a byproduct of electrical interference since it's housed inside. Since I finally touched the topic of the sound, which is why you are probably here to begin with, let me give you my impressions of it. 
First off, let's start with the power output of the speakers. It's rated at 80 watts of peak power and 40 watts of RMS power. But in practice, that doesn't mean anything until you hear what's actually capable of producing at that higher volume. To my surprise, the sound doesn't distort too much all the way up to 80 to 90% of the volume, and they do pack a punch at those levels. As for the sound profile, it tends to pull on the lower side of the spectrum, with pretty clear enough mids and highs, ideal for music listening and games, not so much for listening to podcasts or watching movies, because it can get unnaturally deep and everything sort of rattles around. Fortunately, as you saw, you can adjust the bass level, although the sound will lose some warmth to it. Of course, it doesn't have that much of a range as something like my Atom T7V studio monitors, but it's plenty enough for your day-to-day -day use. I know that this is not going to do it much justice, because it depends on what you use on the other end, but here's a sound sample of how they sound, maybe you get some insight from this after all. For around $80 to $90, I think that the Z407 is a compelling choice for what it offers, most importantly a very practical one on account of everything that we just went through, especially for those who want a simple looking solution with plethora of connection options. That's it for this time for me, thank you once again for watching, please take a second to toss me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my content, that really helps a lot, and if you like what you saw feel free to subscribe, and if you already are. Be sure to press that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on a new video. And until then, catch you later, guys.